Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to do another top 10 commonly asked questions about parakeets. So I am joined today with the co-founder of this channel, M, and let's get let's get started. conducting an interview interviewing each other about questions about budgies <laughs> so to start off what is the difference between a parakeet and a budgie so that's a good good question em so parakeets and budgies are actually the same thing so parakeet and budgie is just a varying term depending on where you live, like what those birds are called. So America generally calls them parakeets, whereas the rest of the world calls them budgies. Very interesting, Ashton. So for the next question, Emmy, how many batches of babies do they have per year? Parakeets generally can have two to three batches of eggs or babies per year. Awesome. So, next question for Ashton. So, what temperature do they need? So, parakeets are very, they have a very wide range of temperatures that they can tolerate. Uh, the best temperature though to keep a parakeet is usually right around room temperature, so like 70, 75 degrees uh, Fahrenheit versus like the temperature extremes, they can handle down to 65 degrees or even a little bit below that but for short periods of time. And on the upper range, it's the same thing. So they can handle up to about 90 degrees or even above that for a short period of time. But I would keep them right around 70 to 75 degrees for most of the time. Okay. All right. So next question. Do their beaks grow all of the time? And yes. do they need to be trimmed? The answer is yes, they do grow all the time. And they do occasionally need to be trimmed. If they need to be trimmed, you can take them to the veterinarian to get them trimmed. Or a lot of budgies and parakeets will actually file down their own beaks using cuddle bone in their cage. That is a great answer. So, next, next question. Next question for Ashton. Ooh. Recessive versus dominant colors. Ooh, that's a tough question there. So. Recessive genes versus dominant genes, that is actually a genetics question. I know I've mentioned all those terms in the pa in some of my previous videos in the past, but that's a very complicated question to answer. But the short of it is uh, when two parakeets get together and have babies, so dominant genes are going to be like, if we talk about colors for instance, dominant genes are going to be the ones that mask the other genes, so the parakeet can have both the colored genes, like Darwin, the green parakeet, or the non-colored genes, like Bindi, the yellow parakeet. So when those two birds have babies, all of them will be green, and they will have one gene that, that codes for the green, the green morph and one for the yellow morph. Now that's a, it, it's a lot more complicated than that. So, and I want to do a whole video on that in the future. So, and stay tuned for a video on that coming out, hopefully soon because it's a very complicated question there. So, now for the next question. So, Emmy, what do they eat? Do they eat suet, worms, peanut butter, berries, same thing as bird food? What do you feed a parakeet? So, parakeets generally won't eat suet or worms or common feed you'd feed wild birds. They will eat peanut butter for a snack, but make sure the peanut butter doesn't have salt in it because that is bad for budgies. Berries, they can have certain berries such as blueberries and they can have oranges or lettuce. Generally what you want to feed budgies is the budgie food you find in the stores, budgie seed, a mix of that, and budgie pellets you find at a food or a pet store, along with um, berries and fruits along with lettuce and dandelion stuff like that great answer i feed my parakeets all of that and they absolutely love lettuce and dandelion is one of their favorite okay are we ready for the next question 
Yes, we are. <laughs> so, how long do they live? Great question, Em. So, parakeets, they can live a very long time for a small bird. So a lot of people would think the small ones would not live quite as long. Parakeets can live 20 plus years. So, as for mine, Darwin is actually unknown age. We're not sure how old he is because he was quite old when we got him. Versus Bindi is a few years old right now because she was a very young parakeet when we got her. Now Gwen, she is probably right around eight months, eight months to uh, ten months right now. We we assume because we don't know the exact age of when she was born. And obviously the babies are little babies. Uh, how old is um, Lazuli? Two years old, about. All right. So are we ready for the next question? Yep. All right. So for the next question, where do they live in the wild? Parakeets are native to Australia, or budgies are and they're invasive in Florida. Oh, nice. So what kind of habitat do they like in their native range? Usually more open habitats. They tend to avoid the dense forests. Perfect. All right. Read it. Ready for the next question? Next question. How, how do you tell a male from a female? So that is another very difficult question to answer, <laughs> and I'm not exactly sure how to tell the babies apart quite yet. I'm not quite good enough to you know, tell them apart. Now, some of the common ways to tell them apart are the color of what's called the neris, I believe, yeah. uh, the, which is a hard covering over the end of their beak. I'll show a picture of it right here. So that is the neris of the bird, and with the males, it will generally be in the wild type, back to the genetics, in the wild type parakeets, it will be kind of a blue color for males, and kind of a brownish, um, brownish purplish color for the females. Now that also changes though with the different colors of parakeets. Like with the yellow parakeets, like Bindi, she will, she'll express the kind of brown crusty, um, Neris when she gets older, but when she's younger, it will actually be a pink color. And same with the males with the yellow, the yellow coloration. It will, the, they will both have a pink color one. Uh, same with the blue colored parakeets, it's harder to tell the difference there. But that is the main way that people tell them apart. I believe albinos are more difficult to tell apart too. Yes, they are. Albinos are the same as the yellow mutation of B that Bindi has. So Bindi might actually have albino in her. We're in, I think she has, she might have her by now. I think she might. She definitely has the pied gene in her. So again, word stuff for the genetics video. <laughs> but yes, they are very hard to tell apart when they're younger. They do exhibit some behavioral behavioral differences. But again, both, both genders kind of, some of them have very different personalities. So some of them will... Um, do things that are typically thought of as male parakeet behaviors or typically thought of as female parakeet behaviors. Like for a while, I actually wasn't sure if Bindi was a female or not, up until she laid an egg. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, ready for the uh, final question, I believe. I am. The final question of the night, guys. This is going to be great. So, for the final question... Will they stay with their mom for the rest of their life? Will, with their parent parakeets in general? Yes, they actually do. Because most budgies will travel in large flocks. They'll most likely stick with the same flock they were born in and travel with their mom. Now, since we have captive parakeets, they can all go in the same cage in the same habitat as their mom and live together happily. Now, they can also be separated because in the wild, they actually, sometimes they will find other flocks too, so it doesn't hurt them when they are separated from their parents. Is this correct? Yeah, exactly. Perfect. All right. Thank you for staying tuned for the top 10 uh, most asked, asked questions about parakeets, part two of the top 10 anyway, so that makes 20? Yeah. Yeah. That's <laughs> a, a lot of very good questions from you guys. Yeah. <laughs> so stay tuned for more videos. Uh, Anything yeah. else you want to say? Just thanks for watching, like, and subscribe. And don't forget to comment on the bottoms of these videos. Yeah. We would love to hear your feedback uh, all the time. The more feedback, the better. I hear Bindi has something to say. And <laughs> she's quiet. And now she's quiet. <laughs> so anyways, yep, just like we said, stay tuned, comment, like, and subscribe, and hope to see you soon.